Hello, I'm Father Tom, your pastor, and I'm very happy to be able to walk with you through what uh, a typical confession in the Sacrament of Reconciliation would be like. I know you're already familiar with this space that we use for the Sacrament of Reconciliation, um, and this is exactly what you would see when you come into the room. You do have the choice that you can either kneel before the, the, the screen over on, uh, on my right behind that you saw uh, earlier, or you could come face to face sitting right across from me. Now I know it can be difficult sometimes to go to confession. I often find it difficult to go to confession. We, we, we never find it easy to confess our sins to another person and that can make it very, very challenging and sometimes can make us reluctant to make use of the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Um, but whenever you feel that way, um, just tell yourself that this sacrament is one that is about God's forgiveness, about God's unconditional love for you and his desire for you to, to be able to be forgiven for the times that you have failed to be the person that you need to be or that he calls you to be or to, uh, or to do what he asks you to do. Um, sometimes we also get worried a little bit about the formula, the form that we used, and we can be concerned because we say, I don't know what I have to do. Never worry about that. Never worry about the form. The priest will help you to uh, walk through the process and walk through each confession as I'm doing with you right now. So never be afraid that uh, because you don't know the, the, the form uh, that the priest will not guide you through. We will. We'll, work, we'll walk with, through it with you. When you sit down, we start, uh, as we start all forms of prayer and all sacraments, with the sign of the cross, the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And, uh, and typically, what you would do as the one confessing your sins is you would say something like, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been so much time since my last confession, and these are my sins. Uh, but if you don't say that, uh, you can be prompted by the priest who, after greeting you, could say to you something like, May the Lord be in your heart and your lips that you make a good confession. Uh, and then you would confess your sins to God. While the priest is sitting here and hearing your confession, uh, keep in mind that the priest is really an instrument of God. Uh, an instrument of God's forgiveness, an instrument of God's grace. It's really God to whom you're confessing your sins and God who is really coming to you in this sacrament. So at that point then you would confess your sins. Uh, before you come to confession, uh, as was probably covered with you, you could do what is called an examination of conscience in which you really give some thought, give some prayer and reflect about the times that you have done something wrong or that you've hurt somebody or that, uh, or that you haven't done something that a Christian or a disciple would do. Um, then you would confess those sins, just as, as frankly and as honestly as you can. You tell the priest your sins, really realizing that you're telling God your sins, and the priest will listen. The priest will listen to what you confess and allow you to, to you know, thoroughly confess the sins that you, you, you want to put before God uh, and place before God for his forgiveness. After you confess your sins, after maybe uh, a sigh of relief, after being able to speak them out loud, which is a very, very important part of the sacrament to be able to, to take your sinfulness and put it outside yourself, uh, the priest may give you some words of, of consolation, some words of encouragement. He will remind you of, of the, 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 the breadth and the depth of God's forgiveness, uh, of how much God loves you and how much God really, really wants you to know the peace and, and to know the forgiveness of your sins. You will talk about God's forgiveness, how God forgives you for your sins. Um, that's what this sacrament's all about. It's not so much about the sins as much as it is about God's forgiveness, God's mercy, God's compassion, God's love for you as his child, and, and his desire for you to, to, to be that best version of yourself. And so I'll give you some words of encouragement, assure you that your sins are forgiven you, uh, but I'll also talk to you a little bit about God's grace that comes through this sacrament. Uh, grace is something that, that God gives us. Uh, you might call it uh, strength. You might call it his, uh, his, his inspiration. Uh, but it's a, a, a reality that uh, allows us to become the better people. So not only do you get the forgiveness of God in the sacrament, but you also get the grace of God in the sacrament. The grace that will allow you and, and, and strengthen you to do better, to try harder, and to be the best that you can be.